Coming back from school, we used to watch these characters as we had our lunch that our mom cooked. Although those golden times will never come back, we can always play with these characters with the tools we have today. So I came across this AI called Styler, which is in beta, and at the moment it is free, but I don't know how long it will be free. Of course, it is not sponsored at all. And we'll see if these 2D characters can be converted to 3D. First of all, you'll have to sign up. Let us do that. So I've already signed up, and as you can see, if I click here, we have gotten 200 credits as we sign up. Click on new project and in here, click on import images. So we're gonna first choose this character right here. Let's click on open and resize it. By the way, if you hold the shift key, proportions will be maintained. Let's click on image to image. Now you can type in a prompt to explain your scene or simply click right here, auto prompt. It will automatically explain your scene. And it did a pretty good job. A young man wearing a green jacket with white stripes, have a look at it. If you don't like it, Click on it one more time. I like this one. A cartoon character wearing a green jacket with the number 10, which is specifically written. Now you have an option to decide how much you want to match the generation with the structure of the existing image. Let's push it all the way up. And what style do you want? Do you want it realistic? Do you want industrial? You have different styles. Let's go for realistic and click on stylerize. There you go. You have four results here. First, second, third, and fourth. They are pretty good, I have to say. And the most important thing is, have a look at the 10. It's perfectly written. You can also try decreasing the structure match to 0.8. And let's try one more time. By the way, the one time we did it, four coins were deducted. So now you know how much it costs and how many times you can do it. But who are we kidding? Now they are doing a pretty amazing job. Here's this one, that one. Look at the sun. And some of it, it's transforming into a girl. So we can type in a cartoon character of a boy so that it doesn't get it to a girl and then stylerize again. And now the results are boy-ish. I think I should have typed a teenager. Let's go for teenage boy. Now these are a bit closer to what we would want. Again, this is a cartoon 2D anyway. So let's say you like maybe this one. Let's click on it. You can also place multiple ones on the canvas at the same time. Let's say you like this one as well. It's a bit girlish, but we can remove the lipstick in Photoshop, that's fine. Let's click on this as well. So both of them are in the staging area. You can place them on canvas at once, click on that. So both the layers, this one and this one, show up right here. You can now export it, composite it, that's up to you. Let's say you wanna export it, click on export, 1x is fine, and click on export. That's how you save it. Let us try a few more images. By the way, it is important that you name your projects, Ben 10, click on apply. And by the way, you can create different aspect ratios as well. Let's go to home right here, click on new project, and you can choose the aspect ratio from here. Let's go with four by three, and let's name this Goku. Click on apply. Click on import image. And this time we're gonna go with, as you guessed it right, click on open. Let's arrange it too. Now do know you can always create text to image. We know all about that. But this time, we are going image to image. Let's try auto prompt first. This looks pretty good. And it also recognized it's from the Dragon Ball Z series. Structure match all the way up, stylerize. But none of them are realistic or 3D. They're the same characters, changed a little bit. But have a look at how the lighting has changed. It did a pretty amazing job. Have a look at this one. I love the lighting here. Compared to this one, it's a completely different beast. I stylerized it one more time and have a look how fast this is going. It sometimes jumps to 100 out of nowhere. Maybe it depends upon how busy the server is. And even again, it's creating 2D characters. So maybe we need to change the prompt. I think the mention of Dragon Ball Z was creating those 2D characters. Let's see what it does now. Some of the results are 3D. Here's the first. Whoa. Here's the second. It has a bit of stubble on it. Anyway, let's go with this one, click on it, click on place on canvas, and it looks pretty darn good. We may need to remove these spikes in Photoshop, but apart from that, it's awesome. Now, when you do export it and open it up in Photoshop, you will see a watermark of Styler. But then again, who are we kidding? If you know, you know. Also, I'm gonna say that outright, even if you don't know what we were thinking about, you can always go to Styler, just go here, fit to screen, Take a screenshot. I mean, the resolution is not that high that taking a screenshot may deteriorate the image quality. I'm not asking you to do that. I'm not suggesting it. It's free and they deserve to put that watermark there. But then again, it's just, if you know, you know. Back to Photoshop, we can easily fix these with the remove tool. So with the remove tool selected right here, just loop around it 
That's all. It's gone. Just loop around it right here. It's gone as well. Loop around. There's a weird line there. Paint over that. That's fixed. Similarly right here, it's not a big deal. Just loop around it. It's gone. In one of the previous videos, we talked about free upscalers and one of them that I liked was upscale with a Y. So this is the software. Let's drag and drop our photo here. If this doesn't work for you, there are many free alternatives. You can check out this video later. The default settings are fine for me. Let's click on upscale. And as you can see, it actually did a pretty darn amazing job. Even if you take a look at the clothes, here's the before, here's the after. Look at the lines. They're so darn perfect. Have a look at the hair as well. Here's the before, a bit blurry. Here is the after. The trick is not to rely on one platform. And whatever traditional techniques you have learned, that will never go to waste. Let us try one of our favorites, Kochi Kame right here. Auto prompt. The prompt is a bit inaccurate. Blue shirt is fine, but he's not wearing a blue tie. So let's remove that. Let's keep it this way. Stylerize. Well, I have to say these are nowhere close. Let's increase the structure match. Try one more time. Okay, now these definitely are getting out of hand, not looking okay. The prompt actually matters. So we're gonna try different prompts. Let's go with this one. Click on Stylerize. Now we are getting closer. Take a look at this, this. We can actually go with some of this. Whoa, this is accurate. This is so good. It just needs a little bit of contrast, but apart from that, it's awesome. So let's place it on canvas. The only thing we need to create is the unibrow right here. So here's the before. Here's the after, it's so good. We may need to sharpen it a little bit and improve upon it on the ear right here a little bit. But apart from that, this is such a great base to start working on. You can use Photoshop's generative fill to improve this. You can use upscaling software to try to make it more sharper. And of course, Photoshop's other tools to remove distractions like this. Gone. By the way, even inside of Styler, you have some controls. Right here, see, remove object. And I can paint over whatever I like, just like this one and click on remove. Let's see if it takes that weirdness away. It actually fixed it. Have a look at it. On top of that, of course, you can insert an item. So for example, you wanna paint right here a little bit. You typed in cloud, it will generate that, just like generate a fill. You can remove the background. All of that can be done. Last but not the least, I wanted to use an illustration, drawing, painting or something that I created that is not on the internet, that is not a cartoon, that is not created by somebody else. Now, since I didn't have the patience to do it myself, I took one of my mother's paintings. My mom is an artist, by the way. So I had to crop this painting a little bit. Let's try image to image. Let's see what it does with auto prompt. This did a pretty amazing job. I'm gonna do a few changes underwater and I'm just gonna add mermaid right here. Increase the structure match. Let's stylerize with realistic. Now, you can experiment and try different styles right here, but I'm gonna keep it realistic for this one. Otherwise, it would be a pretty long video. Now for the last 10 minutes, this website has stopped working for some reason. I'm trying a few more times, but it just is stuck. Maybe the server is heavy. Maybe by the time I make this video, a lot of people may try this and it, none of this might work for a while. So please be patient with it. Finally, after so many trials, we got it working. But then again, we just have one generation, which is looking great but still it's not accurate. And the other ones just did not generate. With a few more trials, it's working back again and hopefully we'll have something. With a few more trials and some alteration in the prompt, we were able to create something like this. Doesn't that look fantastic? Here's this, here's this one. There you go. Series of images. Some of them might be a bit inaccurate, but overall, they all do a pretty incredible job of capturing the painting. So this is a brand new toy, free toy, that you can experiment and play with as long as it is in beta. It will be interesting to see what my mother's reaction will be to this. She has been an artist for more than 30, 35 years. So that'll be exciting. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. I would like to take this moment to thank all of these nice and amazing people for supporting Piximperfect on Patreon and helping keep Piximperfect free for everybody forever. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. Don't